Hello, it's Grandma again. Are you ready for Grandma's story time today? You are? Everything is normal. I think. Put on your glasses, Grandma. My storybook today is called Bamboozled. It's by David Legg. Are you ready? Bamboozled by David Legg. Bamboozled. There's a girl knocking at the front door. I love my granddad. I visit him every week. And every week things are the same. But last week, when I arrived, something seemed odd. Can you see some things on that page that are odd? She can't. We sat down, as usual, and chatted for a while. Then Grandad poured the tea and we ate fresh cakes that he had baked that morning. Mm -mm. We played cards and as always, he won. We went through his old photo albums and I listened as he told stories about the good old days. He's showing me in the photo album. I helped him with the housework, but all the while, something bothered me. What's not right? We worked in the garden and I planted flowers in the flower bed. I pushed the wheelbarrow while Grandad pruned the roses and still something seemed strange. It niggled and niggled at the back of my mind. Is there something not right? You are quiet today. Grandad said as he fed the cat. I wonder what's not right. I know, I said. I can't make it out. There's something I can't put my finger on. Something today seems odd. She's thinking, what is wrong? I can't see it. Well, said Grandad, I've redecorated the hallway. Hmm. No, I thought. It wasn't that. And I've bought two new fish. No, it wasn't that either. What's wrong? Then, just as we were saying goodbye on the doorstep, it suddenly struck me. Have you worked it out? What's wrong today? Let's have a look. Granddad, I said, that's what it is. You're wearing odd socks. Look, he's got an orangey red sock and a yellow sock. Oh, silly granddad. Oh, we did laugh. He put the wrong socks on. They're not a matching pair. <laughs> Look, everybody's laughing. She's saying goodbye to Grandpa and she's going home by herself. Look where Grandpa lives. 
His house is in the middle of the lake. And the lake is in a park. And the park is at the edge of the city. And that's the end of the story. Bamboozled. I think you might have to read that again because I saw some things that were not quite right. Do you agree, Rabbit? Oh, <laughs> my rabbit is upside down. Grandma, you have got a different hat on today. Let's have a look. Here's Grandpa cleaning up and doing the housework. Can you see his brush and pan? He's got a hole in it and he's sweeping the leaves back onto the ground. And do you have nice warm slippers to stop the wind on your toes? He's got slipper sandals. And look at his lounge chair. It's got headlights where you, on the arms. And someone's been painting the picture on the wall. And look over here on the other side. There's grass growing on the green carpet and she's mowing it inside the house. And there's even a little rabbit with a hat on inside the long grass in the house. And it looks like the leg of a tree with a mouse going up. And do you hang the washing on the line? They've hung the plates up. And there's milk pouring out of the jug down into the washing basket. Keep looking. There's more things that are not quite right. I think you might need to visit the library and see this book yourself because we haven't got time to keep looking. It's called Bamboozled by David Legg and it's from Ashton Scholastic. That's all for my stories for today. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you can find more fun stories from Grandma. Goodbye.